Welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory Oceans. Can you guess how long it's been? It's the first court session. I don't know why I keep asking this. I mean, no one's good. I mean, I don't really expect anyone to respond. I'm just like thinking, anyone who watches the video Rune Factory. has a go of guessing. It's like, how many days has it been? I'm not going to comment on it, so I'm simply going to be like, uh, let's see, how about... I know, six days. Wrong, it's been nine days. It feels longer than that, honestly. Where has it been nine days? Let me check. Last recorded... Wait, it says right there, doesn't it? Yeah, 13th. It's now the 22nd. Yeah, nine days. Wait, what? Why does it say Merwin now? It doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, it's loaded now, isn't it? No. Nope. There's still time to show off something random. I was like, uh... Playing guitar, and uh... For whatever reason, I can't even remember what the reason was. It was like... You know... It's fun to kind of, you know, take a melody and, like, switch it into, like, the minor key. You know, uh, what de what could I use to demonstrate that? It's like, uh, I can't think of an example off the top of my head. But actually, what I can do is switch a mi I've, like, got two examples, so it perfectly fits here. The, uh, guitar solo to Twisted Sisters, uh, we're not going to take it. I honestly don't have the whammy bar attached to my guitar, so I can't do that. But basically, that's in a major key. That's an E major. I'll switch it to the uh, relative minor of that key. C sharp minor. And get this. Change a major solo to a minor solo. It's not perfect, but it's interesting. So like that perfectly no for no, but basically it's like it sounds dramatic, doesn't it? But I thought what about doing the reverse? And I thought Corpse Party theme, the title music. I actually bought it on the PSP, but I I've only played a bit of it. Like that's what one thing I'm gonna ramble on, on later in this part. We get to it when I get to it, but I think yeah, Corpse Party, the title theme, you know. That's obviously minor. What and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it through once and then switch to the major just to demonstrate just how freaking weird it is switching between a major and a minor key but using the same melody structure. It's bizarre, so and now major. to minor I just found that amusing so yeah Get, got that out of the way there the other thing that I'm not going to ramble too much about like right off the bat here is uh, Persona 1. I bought that on the PSP. And, uh, gotta say, it's uh, pretty decent. Very different to, you know, Persona 3 and 4. I still have yet to play 5. You can, like, I've never played the, you know, mainline Shin Megami Tensei game. 
but I like from what I've seen of them, it's Persona One definitely seems like it's got more in common with that. I mean, that's what it was originally a spin-off series that ended up becoming so popular that it kind of overshadowed the main series that kicked it all off, you know. But anyways, it's uh, it's an interesting game, and I'll ramble about it throughout its parts, but not while on my money machine. We can't have that now, can we? So I can barely remember where I left off. Uh, I uploaded the previous part on yesterday, but the day before, which was uh, mostly spent around. Oh yeah, never mind. It is my morning routine. I'm remembering now. Yeah, now it's time to finally tend to the crops and monsters because you know Kelsey's rosary quest took up. A large chunk of the previous part. So I guess I can ramble about Persona 1, I guess. It's like, uh, you know, you don't have uh, social links like in the third game. So, uh, it's, a, it's very different, but you can definitely see, like, the uh, building blocks of the series right from the get go. In a way. Wait, I forgot about you, didn't I? Yep. And, uh, like, you don't really have, like, as, uh, the game, the plot doesn't really feel as long. It feels like you're more in random encounters than anything else. After a while, it gets a, more than a little bit annoying to because the battle system's really slow. And you can talk to the demons you encounter. And, you know, if you befriend them enough, they'll be like, Here's my card, make a persona around me, asshole. But, you know, don't fuse me with with some weird demon or something, because I don't like that. I'm not really <laughs> selling <laughs> the point across it, getting the point across here, am I? But yeah, it's a very different uh, system, and unlike, you know, sort of 3 and 4 and presumably 5, uh... Personas can be equipped to every character. You get a maximum party of five characters, and the fifth member of the team you can like uh, choose from a few characters. And it's pretty much a case of just like, yeah, you got these choice right for the fifth member, but you don't really realize it at first that that's the case. Because when I I got the bad end right, so I'm replaying for the game to get the true end. And then to uh, go for the second scenario. Because it has two different scenarios you can go on. It's like a branch of one in the game. But, anyways, so when I first played for it, uh, I had this character whose name I think was Hideko or something like that. Or Brown was his nickname, so that was easy to say. For the uh, first playthrough, I'm going with Ellie for the second playthrough. I was gonna go with this Rage. 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 Character, but then I was like, you know what? I'm busy. I'll, I'll go with this character instead, and maybe the other character after that. Maybe then the character that's paid the master to join. It's weird, but anyways, they can all equip a maximum of three different personas. It's nothing like the uh, later games in where it's like all the antagonists gets to equip different personas. Now everyone's pretty much special in that game. The only difference is, uh, there's affinity levels of sorts, if, like, uh, a character has a bad affinity or a worse, you know, uh, affinity with a persona, then they can't equip it. That's the only case where they can't equip it, so, is if the affinity level is bad. I think you can equip them even if it's bad, but if it's worse, you yeah, can't. And it's like, uh, you, what you really want to do is get uh, some of that. You're either best or at least good on the affinity level. Otherwise, uh, you're probably in for a bad time, Max. Or no time at all, because you're like, I ain't going to be equipped to this asshole at all. I'm not compatible with this piece of shit. So, uh, and the, it's like, I, I don't know how to really describe the game. It's weird. It's like a kind of, uh, more archaic kind of, uh, style in a way. The, you know, random encounters and 
the uh, first person dungeon perspective thing it definitely feels very old school. So I can definitely see why a lot of people aren't really that big on Persona 1 and presumably the same for Persona 2 because they can have similar gameplay style I assume. Just like, oh man, that, you can't get that game style, it's just pain me out, I hate Granomy Towers. But it's not that bad. Get bad. <laughs> it's like freaking hell, these random encounters every freaking five steps. And the battles drag on even when they're easy. Because you gotta give commands to all five characters. It's so tedious. But other than that, I, I enjoyed the game. It's just a bit boring as all hell playing through it after getting the bad ending now. Having to do it all over again go through so many bad encounters all over again. And the music, the music is very much like, I was surprised, was like, wait, so is that, I, I don't know, maybe it is the same singer from the other games, you know, the uh, female singer that does the vocals in, I assume it's the same person, because it sounds like the same person, but I was surprised, because it sounded exactly like the same singer in Persona 1, it's like, wait, they've had those, had that person on vocals throughout the whole series, or what? The sprite by that. And, you know, you got catchy music that's very much, you know, in line with later Persona games. And I could not understand a word of the lyrics at all and misjudged it in the most amusing way on the repetitive music that becomes repetitive mostly due to the fact that I played the battle encounter. What was the lyric that I mistook it for? I don't even know what the actual lyric is, but, uh, uh, it's so like when I'm rambling on like this, I lose my train of thought very easily. It was like a really funny kind of uh, mishearing of the lyrics every time I hear it. Nyla says, what, what was it though? I need to shut up so I can like, you know, replace my thought of what it actually sounds like. So I'll do that. I'll be thinking for several seconds as I go about replanting my crops. Oh yeah, to me it sounds like the when it builds up is like, oh my rotted face, you read me pawn. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? That's obviously not the lyric, but I find it amusing. Like, imagining that's what the lyric is, but it clearly isn't. I have no idea what the actual lyric is, or any of the lyrics, because it's apparently mostly sung in English. But my god, the accent really makes it hard to understand what the lyrics actually are. Trying to say, well, sing. It's a catchy tune, though, but it's like also kind of repetitive because of the repetitive nature of random encounters every few steps. So, uh, not sure if there's anything else I was going to say about Persona 1. Also, oh, the characters kind of have this, like, they're not as fleshed out as, you know, uh, later Persona game characters, but there is at least some personality. You can kind of see where they were going with that. But also, tone-wise, yeah, it's kind of similar in a way, but at the same time not. Because, like, it's basically demons end up invading the human world, and only the Persona users can fight back against them. So, you know, it's a bit different to like, oh, uh, you get sucked into the TV in Persona 3, you have the midnight hour in Persona 3, did I say Persona 4 for the elements? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting mixed up with my rambling a bit. And Persona 5, I don't know what they have there, but I assume it's probably something similar. And... Unlike those games, it takes place in the real world, all the fighting, so it's a bit more chaotic, a bit more kind of like, you know, like the apocalypse of sorts. Which, to be fair, the other Persona games kind of have the apocalypse kind of thing. It's like, oh, you must defeat this godlike entity or something. It's kind of there, but it's a bit more, you know. I don't know. It's like where everyone 
can see what's going on, guys, but not understand nonsense. In fact, the most bizarre thing about it is the fact that despite all these demons going around, everyone just seems kind of casual about it. Some of them are like, oh, this is really bad. Others just like, yeah, whatever, I still gotta run my shop. It's like demons screaming and fucking loot. Just like if they come in here, as long as they're customers, then fine by me. If they're if they're not even gonna pay or have no business here, then piss off. I don't know. Just seems overly overly nonchalant considering, you know, uh, the situation. Can I seriously go into freaking run out of time in day yet? And by that I mean, like, you know, it'll be midnight and I've still been here tending these damn crops. It's ridiculous. But yeah, Persona 1, decent. But you know, replaying it a second time. No, actually, I didn't even say it. It's like, it's very tedious. I also hear the final boss is a bitch and you need to grind a lot for, so I'm not looking forward to that. Maybe after playing Persona 1, I'll play Persona 2. Which I've heard both good and bad things about. It seems to be very, uh, you know, it's a case of the fan base. You either love it or you hate it, kind of. And by game, I mean games because it's two of them. And the annoying yeah. thing is, only one yeah. of them is on the freaking PSN. Yeah. Yeah. So that sucks. Yeah. So I'll be able to yeah. play the first game, but not the second yeah. game. It's just like, yeah. wait, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's like, well, the, the second yeah. game has two games. It's got the first one, and then it has a sequel. And the sequel isn't on the PSN. It didn't get released. Got released on the PS1, though, back in the day. But it sounds better only in America, because of course... It's like a PAL region just gets fuck all. Meanwhile, Australia's like, what about us? We're closer to Japan than either one of you bastards, and we get fuck all all the time. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's just, just like I get play Persona 2 and then get to the end. It's like, wow, I gotta see what the sequel's like. Can't get the sequel, man, because it's not on there. It's like shit. This is all so tedious, you're gonna wake up later in the morning. You know, this LP has been so damn long at this point, that I've rambled about, you know, two different Persona games that I've been playing, you know, while helping this game now. And they're both very different Persona 3, and one very different Persona 3 definitely was, uh, yeah. The game changer, you know, for the Persona series. That's where it really kicked off. It's like people be like, well, Persona 1 and 2 is better. It's like, well, it all comes down to our opinion. Like, at the end of the day. But, uh, you definitely can't say that, you know, Persona 3 definitely influenced the series to go in a different direction that, you know, definitely had a lot more success sales wise, I imagine. Because uh, I don't think the sort of one and two really did all that well outside of uh, Japan, and probably not even inside. You know, in Japan itself, the sort of three, four, and five probably done better. But they're not bad games. I say they're not bad games, but uh, I haven't played the sort of two yet. But the sort of one's all right, if a bit, you know, uh, archaic in gameplay. Can't get all of them. Much like both those, uh, you know, Persona 2 games. Can't get both of them now. Not available for you. Now, if I do end up being Persona 3 at some point, you know, playing Persona 1 will actually, you know, and maybe Persona 2 as well, will give me some insight into, like, uh, points in Persona 3 that actually kind of 
sort of reference the uh, first two, well, three games. Because uh, there's like a point in the game where you like you like could just watch the TV, and sometimes you get an interview with a character who doesn't get like introduced by name or anything, but from their description, it pretty much uh, reveals that their character's from the first Persona game. So I'd be like, oh, I recognize that character, even though you don't see them, you just hear about them. It's like, oh, so that's what they're up to now, is it? So that would be interesting. Anyway, so I haven't got a lot of RP, so let's make some jam. And not even get skills for it, because fuck you. Mm. 20 minutes in, we've done bed. nothing but ramble and harvest crops. And it's another snowy day. Good morning. Well, everyone except Makoto are at, uh, indoors. It's always bloody snowing. Mmm, what a nice aroma. Wait, punish them? Punish who? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, you have my intrigue. My interest. What the hell could that be about? Good morning. What a lovely morning. <laughs> that made the food, so it's delicious. Oh, this looks delicious. I'll have to eat it later. <laughs> and now it feels weird, you know. It was like uh, nine days ago when I last thought of this. It feels Morning. longer than that, like I said. And uh, Morning. Hope it's a good day. I haven't done any record sessions since, so it's been over a week since I've done any recording. So it goes to show, with like the introduction of Digimon World Next Order LP, really slows down the record schedule, you know, dramatically. <laughs> hey, you getting no everyone here on the island? Well, uh, surely would by now. <laughs> That's good, everyone is cool. Soon you'll be pals with everyone. <laughs> Lost my train of thought now. Thanks yeah. for that, Sierra. So yeah, I feel kind of a bit rusty on the amount of commentary. And you know, as for Digimon World Next Order, I'd like uh, the first part <laughs> replying to a comment and point out it's like oh yeah I got six parts already recorded in advance. I was wrong, I actually got eight parts now. And I can't remember when I actually last recorded for that, but it was ages ago. You know what? Let me do that right now actually, I'll check. It's like oh for God's sake man, get on with the game. I'm just curious. Because if my crappy math is correct, then go by you know Record sessions coming after, you know, uploading the uh, last, you know, recording in advance part of a Let's Play. Then it'll be July by the next time I record for that LP. That's ridiculous. It'll be, like, July 8th, possibly, or something, which is kind of fitting when part 8 would be uploaded. Maybe. Unless, uh, unless I'm thinking wrong. By the way, it goes, that's, like, that's... Well, not too long away, but it is quite a bit. Like, I'm gonna be majorly confused when I record next for that, because it's like, where the hell did I leave off? Because the last time I recorded for that was the 6th of June. It's the 22nd now, and I'm going to probably record the next part uh, for that in July. It's gonna be a month later, and I'm gonna be so confused when I get back to that. Morning. Another day to do our best. Oh, that's a really nice class you have. Did you make me this? You're so talented. Yeah. 
You know, what is it about, you know, snowy settings, visually, where, like, if you're playing a game and there's, like, got this cold setting, you automatically feel cold. Yeah. Although, in that case, I feel like part of the reason is because I have a fan on facing me and, uh, you know, it's pretty cold. But I feel like the added music and the scenery here makes, makes it feel even colder. Don't know how that works. Good morning. <laughs> oh, somebody's sure in a good mood. What's up? <laughs> James gave me a toy. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Morning. Good morning. Justin, I have played it every day. And it doesn't get at all tedious in any way whatsoever. Good job. Except when it does. I've said that before, haven't I? So, you are hard at work this morning. Excellent. Ah, here you are, eager to receive your orders. That's what I like to see. Is this about, uh, taking over the will yet? Indeed. Don't be hasty now, I need you to dispose of a large number of spirits. To the north of Winter Island, there is a place where spirits often gather. They've always been there, but lately we've been... Uh, there's been, there's been a lot of active, and people have been sticking them for ghosts and making a big fuss. I can see how they might think that if they saw them shine like that. Indeed. Quinn and Kelsey are frightened of them. Once you catch them, I'd suggest you boil or burn them, do whatever you want with them. I hear you actually collect them and use them for something or other. I'll check it out. Hm. Excellent, I'm counting on them. Yeah, about that, uh... I mean, it is close to Winter Island, but it's close to the Desert Island, really. But, uh, sorry there, Pandora, but, uh, I ain't freaking traveling all the way around there, you know, anytime soon. <laughs> I know, maybe there's a way to get back there quick, I don't know. This is why I've, you know, been reluctant to accept requests that sound like they involve, you know, going to a different island, fighting different monsters, because... Kind of in the middle of the plot, you know? Jewels possess magic. I will take possession of this one. Now oh, back to the topic of Digimon World Next Order, right? I've already since forgot what the hell it was. But when I uploaded part two, as I had it playing in the background, I noticed something. I was like... I've never noticed that before, and I can't even remember what it is. So think about when I next record for that. It'd be like, I can't even remember the thing where I was like, I remember this, I can't even remember that. I'm making no sense whatsoever now. This is this is the downside to having, like, you know, long stretch of time between record sessions. Because then when I get back to the game, I'm like, where the hell did I even leave off? You know what? Okay. I'm still rich from that, so it's like... It wasn't the previous part, it was part 103. It's like, uh... Honestly, I could've, like, just for that one bit where I got rich with emery flowers. It's like a spiffing Brit video or something, you know? Rune Factory Oceans is a perfectly balanced game with no exploits, excluding emery flowers. Or something like that. I haven't watched any of these videos in uh, quite some time. I mean, if you're familiar with uh, that channel, you know, probably kind of get the referencing going on here. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. It's like, I I'm already super rich, and here I am, you know. S wait. I didn't sell a lot of scrap metal there, did I? I thought it was iron. If I, I just sold my scrap metal. Shit, that was a mistake. Uh, what else have I got too much of? There's quite a few things I got a bit too much of, you know? Thanks very much. Getting richer and richer. Thanks very much. 
It's like, oh man, you can't bankrupt me, man. I'm the only one I'm looking like, you know, I'm the only doctor on the island. You can't, like, you can't bankrupt me. It's like, you can't make me lose all the money and all this. Like, you know, you're just exactly like, uh, you know, the NHS. Thank you very much. Get strained of money. I don't know. <laughs> The NHS has, has always been much. kind of like, you know, a running, well, not even a running joke of sorts, although sort of, I suppose. It's more of a, why the hell is the Thank NHS so much. underfunded and staffed? It's ridiculous. You can catch a lot of different things when you fight monsters. It's an antidote potion if you get poisoned and paragon if you get paralyzed. It's a good idea to carry them with you at all times. God, we're 30 minutes in, we haven't even got to Beatrix yet. Beatrix, of course, if you pay attention to this select place so far, is the uh, character I used to sync the audio up, because her voice is so distinctly loud. Why, good morning! I do hope you'll have a good day. <laughs> what a beautiful brooch, your profession sense is quite good. This is gonna be an uneventful part, isn't it? <laughs> Probably be titled Rambling About Persona, Blake, but you already did that on the previous Sorry part. Yeah, Persona her. 1 this time. Of course, it isn't called Persona 1 because that'd be weird, wouldn't it, when you really think about it? You know what? Uh. Oh, nothing. Anything I can do for you? You've already got enough money, you rob. You robbed me, you bastards. We're, well, actually, no. Oh, oh, I was like, well, I didn't rob anyone, definitely. But, you know, all that money might as well count it as robbery. It's like, bloody hell, how is Mark still in business after buying all those Embry flowers? Good morning, you two. It's <laughs> harder to make a cake than cookies, but, uh, that just makes it more worthwhile. You know, the uh, kind of look of this place with the walls, it kind of makes it seem like it's like someone just took a big cardboard box like uh put two pieces of cardboard down the sides but not the sides, uh, kind of in the middle kind of making three different rooms and then just put a bunch of things in and decorated it Morning <sighs> You guys must be morning people Smell of oil, the sound of the motor. <laughs> Guns are so awesome. Hello. Okay, must be in the rooms. Or perhaps. No. Probably are in their rooms. It's like, I'm not going outside, man, it's cold. Okay, you're not in your room, you're over here. Cleaning the walls. Oh, good morning, you two. I like getting presents, but I don't like getting something that's too expensive. I wouldn't know what to do if someone gave me something like red jewels. Hint, hint, hint as to what not to give her then, I suppose. Thank you so much! Now what sort of accessory should I make with this? <laughs> It'd be like, you make, you make a, what, uh, you know, a ring to get married to her. Just like present to her, to her and she's just like, I can't take this, Dean. What, because you don't want to marry me? No, because it's too expensive. It's like, what, you want me to just give you like, like fashion a ring after fleece? Will that do? Morning. You smell so soothing. What? Again with the perfume? They're all they all smell the same to me. You think so too? There seems to be something wrong with that perfume making book I've been using. Mm 
You know, anything like perfume or, you know, even something like body odor, you know. Spray too much of any of that and you're just like... Bleh. It doesn't matter what it's supposed to smell like, it smells like death. Or rather, it tastes like death because it's consumed the surrounding air and you're like, I can't breathe. It's like, why did you spray so much of that shit? Can I really have this? I won't give it back to you even if you ask for it, you know. I guess the door stays open because she's standing next to it. Good morning! Good morning! I wonder what we'll be having for lunch! It's so fun to think about! Our next video for treasures today! It's not coming very well at all! I mean, more so than usual, but I suppose the reason is because I've been inside the whole day. About the whole day, I mean, like, uh, you know, all morning so far. It's not even afternoon yet, you know. So, whatever. Yeah, I'm talking to Bismarck, Makoto, who's been the only one outside this entire time, so I haven't gone around to that. And John Barkers, who are still inside. And Gerard, I made a talk to him. Yeah. So, those are the only characters that I have yet to talk to to complete the morning routine. And that'll probably be this entire part after that. That's just sad, man. Nothing. Absolutely nothing was accomplished in this Go part. Ahead, buy something. Good. Good morning. All because of my rambling. Well, partially because <laughs> of my rambling, I suppose. But a good chunk of it is probably due to my rambling, really. Huh? Ah, that's some scarf you have on. <laughs> I like accessories like that. Um... Oh, I guess that's not a very manly thing to admit. You you t you say that to that Nanjo character in uh, Persona 1. With this big-ass scarf, man. But you can't see that it says, like, number one on it or something like that. Like, you only see it in cutscenes, which is only seen, like, two. <laughs> that was how this character is. But the interesting thing about Nanjo is, right, there's a reference to uh, the Nanjo family in Persona 3. Like, a direct reference. I'm like, oh, now I recognize who that character would be, you know? It's his family. And since he's the head to that family, I assume... He's probably in charge at that point because Persona 3 takes place in 2000 something and the first game takes place in the 90s. I know, maybe he didn't, you know, become the head of the company at just yet at that point. But considering, well, well, you know, that's spoilers for Persona 3, so if I help you, Persona 3, that'd be the point to ramble on about that. Morning there! Let's have a great day! There are some seriously huge monsters in the ocean. But as long as you don't get in their territory, you may want to. If they go after you, the best thing to do is get out of the territory. Or, you know, kick their ass. Hey. Jeff comes first. Bright eyed and bushy tailed? That's how young folk ought to be. Or, you know, get your ass kicked into the next morning, I suppose. Snow, huh? Well, there's nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Except it's bloody cold. And I can't be arsed going outside. <laughs> Funny if I to say I even beat me walks out. Nope, we're still in that. So the one person on the entire island who was like, you know what, I'm going to brave the cold snow and go outside I was the last person to talk to on my morning routine. Good morning to the both of you. I bid you good day. My name means life in the language of my home. I hope I can live up to my name and save people's lives. Is it though? Is it really? Got my Japanese dictionary here. I mean, obviously, because it's not from Japan, I don't, can't imagine Japan itself actually exists in the Room Factory uh, franchise, world, universe, whatever. But, uh, definitely a Japanese name, isn't it? Well, I'm looking at uh, life here, and it's uh, Gene's saying, but of course, you know, that doesn't mean jack shit. 
could still have the name Kyoto with the same characters and have that meaning, but not that same, you know, pronunciation because words can be. But I don't know. I find find a bit weird, you know, Japanese names. It's like they all have their meanings and all that based on their characters, but I don't know. I just find it confusing in general. I find anything confusing in general right now. My mind is like, Bleep. what happens, man? You don't record, do any recording for a while. You get back to it, and then it's like, uh, 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 I forget how how to function for some reason. So with little, not even little, because it was jack shit. Absolutely nothing. Nothing accomplished here. Whatsoever. Thank you very much. But uh, this will do for this part. Yay. Once I, you know, finish doing this year. Honey. Rush. 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 Now to conclude this part by staring at this. So, that'll do for this very, like, absolutely piss poor in terms of progress part, because nothing happened at all. I mean, all that happened was turn to the monsters and all that, and the crops, followed by my monitor team talking to everyone on the island, and nothing else. Everything else was just a rambled, incoherent mess. But I hope you enjoyed the part anyway, because, uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.